Welcome to part two of the classic game room HD review of Guitar Hero World Tour. There's my man, for real. And that's my other guitarist I designed, Voktar. You can design just about everything on your character except their scent. Because you know Voktar smells like cheap beer and weed. And in fact, he probably hasn't showered in a week and a half. Doesn't help either. Maybe it's a good thing you can't program smell into the Xbox 360. Because they probably use that to full effect in games like Bioshock, and you know that game wouldn't smell good. In part one, we covered the gameplay in depth. Now let's take a look at the character creation and song creation in detail. You can create your own characters from scratch, and they give you some fun templates to start with. I created a couple male characters. Let's create some chicks here. This is similar to the character creation that we've seen in numerous big budget games as of late, like Soul Calibur 4. You can change numerous details and features on their face and their chins and their nose, like the fact that you can give them broken noses. Like you can't hit them with a baseball bat, but you can make it appear as if somebody had hit them with a baseball bat. You can give them heroin tracks. This chick looks like the girl that was in Star Trek 1. Remember her? Beezer's ready to rock. Why is the guy from 7th Heaven on the bridge of the Enterprise? There's a few limitations here, actually. You cannot make them cyborgs, and you also can't give them robotic transformable exoskeletons. You can have them transform on stage into a, a forklift or something. There's some different options for the girls and the guys. The girls give you more options on face paint and eyeliner. You can give them orange eyeballs if you want. We'll give our young lady purple dreadlocks. So basically you can design a female rock star, which is like the kind of girl you'd like to date, at least once until you realize what an incredible headache they really are. Then you go back to dating the girl next door who wants to be a librarian. But you're playing video games because this is fantasy. So let's dress our purple-skinned mutant girl with purple dreadlocks and yellow lipstick in a variety of rock star-styled outfits that can be found at any Goodwill. But because she's a rock star, she'll pay $5,000 for a ripped t-shirt. You can design a band logo. You can also design their tattoos and face paint and build them in layers. It's somewhat like the graphic design tools that we see in Forza 2. I think that the interface in Guitar Hero is a little clumsy and takes some getting used to. But once you figure it out, you, you can literally design just about anything that you want. You could write a big tattoo that says Truxton across her stomach if you want to take the time to do that. You can put tattoos and piercings all over them and know that they won't regret it in 20 years. I like that they've given you the option that you can completely change their skin color. So not only can you have all sorts of normal ethnicities that are actually found on the planet Earth, but you can also give them green skin and make them Klingons and stuff. Why discriminate against aliens, mutants, and the undead? The Guitar Hero franchise is for everyone. And the fun part is, of course, after you've designed your characters, you can play with them and, of course, see them jumping around on stage. You can even give them different stage personalities and personas and whatnot. Not only is Guitar Hero fun by itself, but with the addition of the online gameplay, the multiple instruments, which makes this game a little bit more like rock band, the excellent song list featuring bands like Tool and Billy Idol, and these customizable characters give it just that additional level of depth to make it really fun. But they're not done there. They've given you music creation software. If you've ever played with any sort of music creation software before, like Propeller Heads or Acid Music, some of this stuff will seem a bit familiar to you. You can set the tempo of your song, you can give it a stock bass line or drum beat, or you can create that stuff by yourself. The software in this game seems so in-depth that it would probably take you a good, a good couple hours to a full weekend to figure it out. I jumped in and just started tinkering with it to see how it would work. I'm not much of a... Uh, musician so I really can't create my own songs but if you are a musician 
this is the tool and this is the game for you because you can do just about anything. You can see in the bottom left there that you're actually creating a Guitar Hero song. You can change the guitar effects, you can change the key of the song, you can change what instrument you're playing. You can add in synthesizers, the, uh, the rhythm guitars, lead guitars, bass, drums. This stuff is pretty advanced. Let's take a look at the horrendous, god-awful song I've just created and watch me play it. Actually, that sounds better than a lot of songs I've heard recently. You can make absolutely ridiculous songs, save them, and then go into a, a GH mix tool and fine-tune them. If you're into music, I, I can't see how you wouldn't love this stuff. My favorite part of Guitar Hero is not the music creation, although I do really enjoy character creation. My favorite part of Guitar Hero is just playing along to the songs. It's a great social game. It's a lot of fun. I think it's only a matter of time before we start seeing crossovers where you can use the Street Fighter 2 characters in Guitar Hero. You can use Star Wars characters and Soul Calibur characters. Everything's converging to that. I think that seeing other gaming characters like Dig Dug or Ms. Pac-Man playing metal would be fantastic. Although Ms. Pac-Man doesn't have arms. That could pose a problem. I guess she'd have to be the singer. 